guys, Adams Tech here. So I wanted to make a video today to kind of go over out of the countless products, Razer products, that I've purchased throughout the years, which one of these do I like the most? Which one do I actually appreciate the most? And I feel like I've gotten the most bang for my buck out of uh, throughout the years. Let's get into that in a second. But first, if you're new to this channel, if you could go ahead and please hit the like and subscribe buttons, maybe share this with a friend or family member. I'm going to plan on putting out a lot more videos soon uh, on various razor products as well as uh, different uh, coding concepts that I, uh, I dabble in because I work as a software engineer. So it'd be cool to share some of that knowledge with you guys too, if you're interested. Um, so yeah, so let's get into this uh, stuff right here. All right, so many options, so many options. We have the... Razer Black Widow Lite keyboard. This is actually a really small keyboard in comparison to my other keyboards. Uh, for comparison, you can, you can see this keyboard, how it sizes up. This is the uh, Razer Black Widow itself is on top. And then we have the Razer Black Widow Lite on the bottom. Um, okay, and then we also have the Razer Deathstalker here. And uh, this keyboard I pounded on for quite a bit. This is more like a chiclet style keyboard. The other two are mechanical style keyboards. I'm gonna get into each of these in a second. I just want to give you a quick overview. Then we also have the Razer, just a regular Razer mouse pad, nothing crazy. Just, it just has the Razer logo on it. Has pretty good grip on the back too, bottom. Then we have the Razer Firefly. This actually lights up different colors and does all kinds of stuff. And it's, it's plastic, it's hard plastic. So it has a diff different sensation when you're moving the mouse around on the mouse pad versus like something like, like this right here. All right, and then we also have a mouse here. So this is the Razer Death Adder Elite. And uh, this mouse has been my main driving mouse lately. And uh, also we have the Razer Blade. So this is the... Uh, 15 inch razor blade. Um, this is only a couple years old, so it's 2021 right now. I think this is the 2019 version. And uh, I'll give you the specs in a little bit as well as in the description below. But this has been my main gaming machine. I connect it to my peripherals in my uh, monitor over there. And uh, it's, it's great. It's been working out good. I used to build gaming PCs, uh, full blown desktops back in the day. And this thing actually is a pretty powerful, this thing's very powerful. And then, let me close this up here. Then, of course, we have, I'm still rocking this backpack heavily. I have, it's full of stuff. I just used it today when I went out to work uh, from a coffee shop. I work as a software engineer. So uh, pounding away at some code at the coffee shop. But uh, right now I have 15 inch MacBook Pro in there. But earlier today I had my 15 inch MacBook Pro. I had my 13 inch MacBook Pro. Uh, because for two different development environments. And then I also had my Razer Blade computer in a different compartment in this bag. And uh, this bag has been great. No regrets buying this bag. If any of you are wanting an in-depth review of this bag, I'll put a link in the description below where I have a video that goes into every single compartment, what I carry in it typically, and all of that. So check it out. But first, so really quick, I'm gonna go briefly over these products with you in, in not very much detail, just just overview of what I think about each product after having used it. So uh, the first one I'm gonna start with is the Razer Deathstalker. This is the chiclet style keyboard. I actually used this for a couple years, maybe two, three, four years, probably, you know what? So I probably used it for about two years. I didn't get very much life out of it as much as I thought I would. And the reason is because some of the keys just plain out stopped working. Like, uh, I use the W key for walking a lot in games and stuff, so WASD, and uh, the W key gave out completely. And it's really weird, and this happened after probably uh, two years of, of owning it. But uh, other than that, this keyboard was actually really nice. Even though it has the low travel keys, um, it was a nice quiet keyboard for gaming late at night, and I gamed when uh, my wife was like sleeping over there. I'd game in the same room, and it was it was pretty nice because it wasn't super duper loud in comparison to something like this over here. I don't know how well the audio picks up of that on the screen, but uh, in this video, but well, yeah. So it has its pros and its cons. Pros, I think, are that it has 
it is very quiet. So it is a good keyboard to use maybe in an office type setting or uh, in a quieter setting when others are trying to sleep in the house. That's a huge, huge pro for this keyboard. But uh, if you can get away with it, my preference is definitely mechanical keyboards. So that brings me to these two. These are two mechanical keyboards that I've used pretty heavily as well. And this one more so lately, even though something new has been happening and that is the keys are popping off very, very easily to the point where it's like, it's too easy. So I either have to like glue them down or something of that nature, but these keys are just popping off for no reason. Okay, so this is the Razer Black Widow Lite. And this keyboard is a small keyboard. So it's like a mini keyboard. It isn't a full length keyboard. So it doesn't have things like the, the numpad area where you have all of your numbers off to the side and stuff like that. And I bought this thinking I would really like it because it's of a handy size. It's easy to take traveling with and uh, things of that nature. I was like, oh, who needs a full length keyboard? But um, when, when I used to typing on something like this, right, the keys are further apart. So when I use the small keyboard, my fingers naturally were not hitting the right areas that they're supposed to be hitting. So there is a huge adjustment period during this time uh, for keyboards like this. And unfortunately, I have to say, uh, this is the orange switch keyboard too. But unfortunately, I have to say, for that very reason, even the reason of me not wanting to adapt my fingers to a, narrow, a smaller, narrower, uh, you know, less wide keyboard, um, I prefer full-length keyboards. I know this now. So this was this gave me an eye opener to let me know, hey, I like full-length keyboards. So that's another big tip when it comes to buying a keyboard and purchasing your first keyboard is to make sure to try it in person if you can. Sometimes like. Stores like Best Buy have a decent display of different keyboards to try. Maybe they have like 10 different keyboards to try, uh, various brands and all that. But uh, definitely get your hands on the keyboard and type some things before you purchase it. This was a lesson learned for this one. So suffice it to say, this keyboard is not my favorite keyboard, the Black Wizard, Black Widow Lite. Not, not, not my favorite keyboard. So the Death Stalker, we went over this, but this is not my favorite keyboard either. This is... Uh, this is good for gaming late at night. So I will switch that keyboard if, if I absolutely need that. If that's a specific condition that I'm in where I want to game in an area where people are trying to sleep, uh, even though I do have a separate room, um, I would want to use this keyboard, chiclet style, low travel keys. All right, so this brings us to the Razer Black Widow. This right here, even though I've been having issues with it lately, with the keys just popping off for no reason. Literally, I think at the start of this video, you can hear keys hitting the floor when I picked this keyboard up and I've turned it upside down. I guess those are all the keys that want to fall off right now. But believe it or not, even with its issues of keys falling off, this Razer Black Widow is the best keyboard I've ever used. And I've used a lot of different keyboards. I would say this is my favorite keyboard. Uh, this is using the green switches, and it is a mechanical keyboard. It's really, really loud, but it just feels really nice. The keys themselves, the travel width of the keys, the tension uh, that could be used when you press on each of these keys, just the way my fingers naturally navigate to the right, uh, right areas of the keyboard makes this my favorite keyboard. I can close my eyes and type anything with this thing, no problem, and it feels really good. But first... Right, so the next piece of material here is the Razer Firefly. Now, this is just a mouse pad that lights up different colors. That's all it is. So um, I got it for that reason, but uh, it really was not worth it, to be honest. This is a purchase that I regret because it's just a mouse pad at the end of the day. Um, so suffice it to say, this is not my favorite Razer product. All right, and then we have a regular Razer mouse pad here. This mouse pad is good, but it's just as good as any other mouse pad. I got it because of the design. I really like the colors. Um, th these colors are my favorite, I think. So I really like this mouse pad, but this is still not my Razer, my favorite Razer product. This is simply just a mouse pad. All right, and then we have the Razer Death Adder Elite mouse. Now, I've tried a lot of different uh, Razer mice. I've tried the Naga, I've tried the Basilisk, I've tried Death Adder, I've tried a few others. 
And I like, I really like this mouse the best out of any that I tried. Uh, the Razor Death Adder Elite. This mouth, mouse just feels really good in my hand. It's like the perfect size and uh, haven't had any issues with it. Uh, I used the Razor Naga, I had a bunch of numbers on the side, which can be useful for gaming. But when I use that for coding, sometimes I find myself accidentally hitting the numbers on the side and it'll insert random numbers into my code. Not a good coding mouse. I'd highly advise against that. All right, next up we have the Razor Blade. So I've had this computer for around a year and a half now, and it's been a great computer. I prefer to hook it up to peripherals because I don't really like using the keyboard itself uh, for gaming and uh, for coding. I just prefer an external keyboard. Um, and same for the trackpad. I'm not really a fan of using trackpads unless I have to. Um, so this computer is the best laptop I've ever bought, for sure, for sure, hands down. But it is not my favorite Razer product. Um, uh, recently, the fans, both both of these fans were making really bad noise. They were going, eee. I actually took a video of this. Maybe I could put it in here. And, uh, and I actually ended up replacing these myself. Uh, ordered the parts on Amazon and replaced the fans, but only after a year and a half. Brand spanking new computer. So that was a bit of an issue. Um, there, was, there was dust in there, but I, I dusted them out periodically and everything. It was the bearings themselves in the fan. It went out, but it's all good now. Everything works per perfectly on this computer now. Gaming is great, but uh, this is not my favorite Razer product. Okay, which brings me to my next Razer product. To like and subscribe. Okay, so which brings me to the Razer backpack. This is the Tactical Pro V2 backpack. And you know what? This backpack is my favorite Razer product. This backpack I have had zero issues out of, and I use it all the time. This is my favorite Razer product, believe it or not. So like I said, I do have a separate video that goes over this backpack in detail. Be sure to check it out. I also have made several coding related videos down in the description. So uh, if you're interested at all in learning web development, or web development in six months, I have videos on how to do this step-by-step step from, from never touching code to, uh, to, to learning a lot of code. Um, also, I'm going to put out some additional Razer product videos soon. Uh, hope you guys are having a great day. Remember to like and subscribe. Uh, share with your friends, family, and everyone else, your dogs, your cats. Thank you guys so much for checking out my channel and hope to make more videos for you soon and have you guys come back and uh, check it out. So see you guys later, thanks so much.